Hi there, I'm Chris Berman. Up next on ESPN, set to go with week two of the NFL and ESPN. Hi everyone, I'm Chris Berman. Week one certainly had a chair of surprises. Will week two continue in that vein? Or will things start to even out a bit? We'll see. We've got an excellent early season matchup for you here. Jets, Raiders. Straight ahead. Let's get started in this one early in the first quarter. Chad Pennington would find his target on this one. That set up a 39-yard field goal. The Jets get the first points of the game and go up by three. After driving 46 yards on eight plays, Sebastian Janikowski is called upon to attempt the field goal. This one, good. Connect on the field goal. Jets still midway through the first quarter. Game tied, three all. Chad Pennington would drop back and deliver a strike on this one. Jets end of the first quarter. Curtis, my favorite, Martin, gets the handoff as they keep it on the ground here. He's got room up the middle. A 22-yard play that set up a Jet touchdown. Jets ahead, 10-3. Rondé Barber shows some great awareness here as he gets himself into position to pick this one off. Jets still in the second quarter. The Jets on offense at the 11. Napoleon Harris was in the right place at the right time as his interception was a possible momentum shifter. Jets midway through the second. Jets ahead by seven. Mills is reading the quarterback's eyes all the way as he's able to get his hands on this one and pick it off. Jets late in the second quarter. Chad Pennington connected with his man on this one. An 18-yard touchdown for the Jets. Jets out in front, 17 to three. Drew Brees would drop back and deliver a strike on this one. That set up a 42-yard field goal. And that's where we'll leave this one. Raiders are down at the half, 17 to six. Let's get started in this one early in the third quarter. Drew Brees connected with his man on this one. The Jets with the ball at the 32. Curtis, my favorite, Martin, got the carry here and he was able to break through. A two-yard touchdown for the Jets. Raiders losing by 18. Ramirez would come up with a huge play here as he was able to pick one off here, then had some clear sailing in front of him. They've opened it up now and now lead by 25. Hughes sets up with a little chip shot and this one is no problem. A 35 yard field goal. Jets up 34 to six. After driving 40 yards on eight plays, Sebastian Janikowski get the call for the lengthy field goal attempt, and he would in fact deliver. A 47 yard field goal. The Raiders close in a little. They're now down by 25. Ball at their own 47 yard line. Drew Brees would find his target on this one. Raiders trailing by 25. Drew Brees would drop back and deliver a strike on this one. And that's where we'll leave this one. Jets win big, 34 to nine. Now let's talk to a player who was instrumental in their dominant running game and is our player of the game. Curtis, my favorite, Martin, was kind enough to give us a moment of his time and he's on the field with Susie Collins. Susie? Thank you, Chris. You excelled under pressure today. You just made it look easy tonight. What gave you guys the edge today? Man, really, I think we just came out and played hard today. I think our D-line did a good job of controlling the line of scrimmage and pressure on the quarterback. Man, that helped us dominate on the defensive end. Chris, back to you. I'm Chris Berman, and that concludes our broadcast of the NFL on ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. Take care. We'll see you next time.